Then, can my natural broom handling skills get me into the Olympics? Probably not. Let her go. Nice shot, my get a boy. So the crew and I were driving through a very chilly Madison, Wisconsin, wondering what one might do for fun in the cold months up here. And then we see a sign. Why not? Why not indeed? When you've stumbled upon what turns out to be the country's largest curling supply store. Hey there, Mike. Hi, Steve. Craig? Yep, nice to meet you. A place run by the first family of this odd Olympic sport. While curling has always been a popular winter pastime for our neighbors up north, it didn't become the Olympic sport we've all come to love until 1998. I'm hoping I can learn its weird ways and see just how challenging it might be. There'll be no better trainers than these guys. Steve Brown is an Olympic coach and his son Craig, an Olympic competitor. Everything a fella could ever conceivably want to know about curling, I assume, is logged away up there in your combined father-son brain. Absolutely. This is all we've done our entire life. In just one hour, we're gonna try and teach you how to play the sport, and that's gonna be impossible, but we're Good. gonna try. Great. <laughs> and uh, then we're gonna have a little game. I got some of my Paralympic athletes coming down, and then you'll get to see the best slide in the country, probably, and my son Craig, so we got it covered from all angles. Steve, you've whipped me into a veritable frenzy. Let's go ahead and, and find the clothes that I need. Okay. So you got a slider and you got a gripper. The slider is the part that's really, really slippery, lets you kind of do that gliding motion. This is called a gripper. The gripper is what's going to hopefully make it so you don't fall on your butt constantly. Mm. <laughs> Who invented curling? Scottish. The Scots. They did that on the frozen ponds out in the lochs and lowlands of Scotland. So it started many, many centuries ago. You can't golf during the winter, so you got to have something else to do. <laughs> That is slick, yeah, I'm so Yeah, it's, and this is just carpet. Wait till you get on ice. <laughs> now you need a broom. Brush. Is there a difference? Between the terms, broom yeah. and brush? Right. No. Are they aligned? You gonna freeze out there? Those are pretty warm. Form fitting. Yeah. Accentuate the positive, you know? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know, exactly. So now I'm all suited up. Guess there's only one thing left to do. To the ice. To the ice? To the ice. To the ice. Up in Wintry, Wisconsin, professional curlers Steve and Craig Brown are about to teach me the finer points of this Scottish-born sport. As we approach the Madison Curling Club, I can almost hear the cries of ancient Scots battling it out on the ice. Turns out it's just modern Wisconsinites. Still, just as thrilling. Makes a guy want to take out his broom, charge the ice. Shall we? Let's do it. Are we ready? Let's curl. This is going to be slippery. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. All right. So what you want to do is take a step and kind of slide. Yeah. Step and slide. It's, it, that's no different than an ice skate. No, it really isn't. Nope. Whoa. All right. Well done. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going down like a cheap card table. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> God. Put my rubbers back on. These are hacks, kind of like a starter block and track. So he's putting the ball of his foot right there. Yeah. And he's using his brush for a balance point. Yeah. And then I'm just going to push out. Smooth as silk, and it looks so easy, right? It really does. <laughs> it's not, is it? Let her go. Let her go. One, two, three, four. And he's down. Let her go. Oh. There you go. Back in your feet, buddy. That's so freaking humbling, man. Love it's hard to look good down here, unless you're really sexing up. The object of the game is you're simply trying to get your stones closer to the center than the other team. All of them? Well, as many as you can. So it's basically bocce on ice. The shooter has to release the stone before he slides past the first black line. Players put a little English on the stone, which causes it to curl as it travels down the lane, hence the name, curling. But to be in play, the stone has to travel past the far black line. So right now, yellow would have three. But if the red team came down with one shot, all of a sudden, even though there's two yellow ones in there, the red is closer to the center. So it's how many of your color are closer to the center than the other team? 
Curling stones all come from the Isle of Elsa Craig, uh, just off the coast of Scotland. Mm. This is the only granite they can find basically in the entire world that has the right porosity and everything, so it won't break. The right what? Uh, I don't know if I got the right word or not. Maybe I'm making it up. Porosity, the density of oh. the stones. So they are quite expensive. The, the stones that they use at the Olympics are about $700 a piece. But the good news is they last forever and ever and ever. Yep. Ooh. Yep. Now that I know how to throw the rock and keep score, I'd like to know why people are frantically trying to clean the ice in front of the rock as it slides down the lane. The speed is all determined by the sweepers. They judge comparing speed and line yeah. to make sure it stops in the right spot. Why does it work? I mean, physically, what's happening? You're just warming up the ice. Basically, the change in temperature helps make the rock go farther yeah. and straighter. So basically, try to run, run? while sweeping. Oh. Well, yeah, there you go. Pretty good. All that? right. Uh, you're going to have to go faster at the time. There you go. You got it down. I got it. Piece of cake. Man, I've been sweeping all my life. <laughs> I want to hear about how in the world this became your whole life. I can't say I grew up with the sport accidentally, but I was in a town of a 1,000 people. Yeah. And if I took three steps from my backyard, I could reach out, and I could open the door to a little three-sheet curling club. <laughs> Basically, we would sneak in that curling club. We'd get in all kinds of trouble with the ice maker, but we didn't care. We were having fun. Right. My parents would say, did you do anything wrong? And we'd say no, and they'd say, OK, you can go ahead and sneak in again tomorrow. I was like six, seven years old. <laughs> we were in there on a daily basis. Steve's love for the sport spread to his whole family. Not only is Craig an Olympic curler, his daughter, Erica, moved to curling-crazed Canada because she loved the sport so much. Steve continues to foster the passion in others by coaching the U.S. Paralympic team. This is Patrick McDonald, uh, skip of the Paralympic team. That was in Sochi. How are you? Tim Kelly, one of our four nice world, meet you. Uh, world championship players. It was the very first time you picked up a curling stone, you remember? Um, it was in 08. It was in summer. <sighs> I'm a summer athlete. Yeah. I mean, I just, if uh, golf was a Paralympic sport, that's what I'd be doing, and I'd get the gold every time. Yeah. I can crush it. How long have you been in the chair? 24 years. What happened? I was patrolling the DMZ in Korea. Yeah. We rolled our vehicle, and uh, when we rolled, it crushed me. I broke C45, T4 through L1. Uh, are all delivery sticks custom? Uh, only mine. You know, I can't help but notice you do have a certain flair going well, on. Living the dream. Know Best what thing I'm about life is you get to play it every day. With all these Olympic athletes around, I can feel the challenge in the air. I'm gonna have to take a few more practice runs. Hey, let her go, let her go. <laughs> it's actually gonna go too far. Really? Oh, that's good, good. There you go. Here he goes. Ah. And he's off, he's gonna push it. Not bad. Go, All boy, right. sweep. Holler at him a couple times. Tell him to come on now, sweep it, sweep it. Harder, sweep that thing. Harder. Don't lose boss, lose the body. Oh, it's so close. He might make it. Took, a, took quite a bit of it's swing. On. It's, it's on. It's on the circle. Oh, it's on. Oh. All right. Obviously, you got to work on going the right direction and throwing at the right speed, but you got the basic fundamental down as far as getting from point A to point B. I didn't fall down. It. You haven't really. <laughs> <laughs> you spoke too soon. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> After an hour of training, I'm about as good as I'm going to get. So naturally, the next step is a match. Mike, this is my daughter, Andy. Hey, Andy. How you doing? She's an outstanding young curler. Are you? What are you, like 11? <laughs> We're going to put you against Craig, the Olympian athlete, because we don't want you to have any feelings of this game is easy. And we're gonna get a couple of my Paralympic athletes, I think, to help you out though on your team. Now you won't get beat by a 12-year-old girl. Because I can assure you I would beat you. You can assure me? You know what, I don't like her attitude. I think she should be on the other team. Just, 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 just to see if she can beat me. Andy, I'll gladly let you beat him with me. Hey, let her go, let her go. Nice shot, my get a boy. I'm in Wisconsin, learning to curl with the best of them. He's gonna push it. I'm being taught by U.S. Olympic coach Steve Brown and his son, Olympic curler Craig Brown. They've just challenged me to a match. We're gonna put you against Craig, the Olympian athlete, 
We divided the teams so they're relatively equal with a combination of Olympians, Paralympians, amateurs, and one supremely confident 12-year-old girl. I can assure you I would be you. You can assure me? So the big tradition of the game. Oh, yeah. All eight players, you shake hands and you say, good curling, have a great day. Good curling, have a great day. Have a great day. Patrick, good, good curling. curling. Steve, Tim? Good curling, Andy. Good curling. Tim, good curling. Andy? Yes. Good curling. Good curling. Good curling, Andy. Good curling. Double good curling for you. We're the same team, so super good curling. Craig? Good curling. Nobody likes to show off. The polite greetings are done. The teams are set. My pride is on the line. It's time to curl. All right, here we go. His first stone in competition. This is good. Let her go. Oh, it looks pretty good. Oh. Come on, Steve. Yep, yep, yep. Bring me home, Steve. Easy, Bring Steve. me home. I think we got a winner right off the bat. Nice, Mike. Look at that. Excellent. Piece of cake. OK, now Tim is going to try and take away your nice shot. Line looks good. These gals are uh, they're very good sweepers. Oh, yeah. Line's perfect. Weight only. They're putting as much of their body weight pressure into the into the brush as they can. Oop, they overswept it. No, you get to throw another one. Give her a nice push. A typical curling match takes about 75 minutes to play. All right, Steve, sorry to make you work. Sorry to make you work. We don't have that kind of time. We'll just give you the highlights. There you go. It's close. Oh, I think you're gonna go. That's go. close. Get in there. Look at get this. in there, you son of a gun. Get in there. Oh, I got one yeah. on. Nice, nice shot. <laughs> Good line. Well, it's got a lot of heat. Uh -oh. Curl, curl, uh -oh. curl, 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 curl. Oh! Oh, up, 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 up. All the way! Good sweeping. It's been a hard-fought battle. Nice sweeping, ladies. Great performances on both sides. <laughs> For a minute, I thought I was going to win. But on their last stone, the ladies sweep up one more point and tie the match two to two. Sweeping can do. So now we're tied right. up. Tie ball game. Ah, tied look at that. Up. So you want to just call it a draw? No. You I want think... to do sudden death. You against our 12-year-old girl. There you go. Um, whoever gets closest to the center wins. One, one rock. rock each. One rock. Oh, yeah, yeah, one rock. So it all comes down to this. The 12-year-old master and the 52-year-old apprentice. Let's uh, go get a look what she's got to do, what you got to do here. Uh-oh. No way. She's in play. Andy Stone is in play, but it stops short of the house. All I have to do to win is get my rock closer to the center than hers. As I put my feet into the hacks, the fate of the team resting squarely on my shoulders, I get it. I can see how a person could fall in love with this sport. I know it's weird. That's kind of the point. The curling community gets together to encourage, discourage, and throw some rocks. But go to any dark club or bowling alley or knitting circle, and you'll find the same type of people bringing the same level of passion to the thing they love. It's just a little chillier out here on the ice. Go! I'm sorry, but I really kick your ass. <laughs> Good curling. How'd you feel today when I kicked your butt out there? It, oh. was, it, was it deeply humiliating or just marginally sad? Do you think you'll ever get over it? Yeah. Uh, you're over it already, aren't you? Yeah. What are your hopes uh, for the future with, uh, with curling? Um, I want to go to the Olympics, just like my dad. Mm. You think I'm funny? <laughs> yeah. You find me amusing? <laughs> Some people think I'm funny, other people think they're kind of sick of me, I'll be honest with you. We took some surveys before the show started. <laughs> Andy, explain to the folks what makes me so daggone funny. Uh... We'll be back after this. <laughs> <laughs>